Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Honkai Star Rail the Series and Big LT. And yeah, it's been a while. Uh, sorry about that. And I've been busy with the uh, well, with Nexomon, as you guys noticed, but technically speaking, I kind of just got a little, uh, I wouldn't say burnt out. Um, I don't think that's the exact words I'm looking for. I, I guess I just kind of needed a slight break from Honkai, though I have been hopping on every now and then on my account, but not so much this one. Um, anyway, we're going to do a companion mission today. I don't even know if that was what I was going to say we we're going to do, but... Yeah, we're going to do a companion mission. Um, let's see, who are we going to do? Um, you know, let's do Hook's Treasure. We'll, go to, we'll do Hook's Treasure for today. Anyway, I was going to say this too before I got interrupted. I guess another reason why you haven't really felt like recording Honkai is because I've been busy with Farming Simulator 22, like always, but anyway. Oh, I guess this is something uh, completely different to the companion mission, if I remember. Anyway, the Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellar. We were there to fight. To witness everything. Sacrificed yourself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. Kokonia, <sighs> in order to save Bellabog, she... I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? It was a hard won victory. Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out alright. Anyway, um, because Parker's not with me right now, I'm just gonna say this right now. I know at the time, I'm not sure about now, but I know at the time the music for Kokolia's uh, uh, boss fight for the Stellaron was everybody's favorite. Everybody said it was the best battle theme ever. I was a, I was a disagreeance on that at the time. I'm more so disagreeance on it even to this day because of another boss theme that I prefer Though, you'd have to be into the third phase to do so. And then, like, the bite, the fight is just unbelievable. But anyway, I'll, I'll continue here. What about Zila? Okay, truth be told, when she said that, I was going to say, like, well, she's probably somewhere in amongst our part. And I was realized, no, wait, that's my other account. I have Zila, not this one. I wish I had Zila on this one. She's so overpowered. Count us in. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. 
Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? I think we should start with Kaor. No, just different Underworlder. Um. I know we could start with Hook and the Moles. I mean, uh, I mean it makes more sense, but the problem is we're doing the companion mission with Hook. Uh, you know, that's great. Hmm. Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Yeah, so you Those say. Kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Well, I mean, Hook is right in there. Oh, this could be bad. Honorary member of the Moles, listen up. What is it, Pitch Dark Hook the Great? I'm all ears. Hook and Daddy's birthday is approaching. Every year at this time, we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday together. You two share a birthday? What a coincidence. Yeah, what's the problem? Daddy's job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He's home really late every day. Oh, he uses hard earned money to buy a gift. Look, you're so considerate. Town's in the Fragmentum. I know that Rivet Town is super dangerous right now. That's why I'd like to enlist you as my bodyguard. That way, even if you and Bleach find that later, I won't be the only one getting the schooling. <laughs> uh, different for you compared to me. I'll be waiting for you in a safe spot. You're not allowed to not come. You're not allowed to not come. That's a double negative, is it not? All right, uh, navigation, Rivet Town, go to the entrance. Oh, okay. It's like, why is it not telling me teleporting me? Oh, because I didn't select it yet. Also, yes, in case you're wondering, I am still using Preservation uh, Stella. In fact, actually, um, first off, I don't think game anything's changed since last time. Everybody's up at level 40 still, so... Oh, that reminds me. Uh, relics. They added something. A recommendation for relics. I like. I like this a lot. So now, if we are looking for like a specific set to use, um, there's a relic recommendation list now. So it tells you like, you know, for this character, if you want, um, you can give him whatever. But it says main, by main stat would be HP percentage 93.8% of the time. The other ones are defense percentage and outgoing healing boost. And this is, oh, this is Fu Shuang. So Fu Shuang is a preservation character, obviously. And yeah, according to this, there's two sets. If I can get over there. Oh, that's right. So there's a Garter Wuthering Snow. Um, it's re recommended a two piece for this. So there's reduced damage taken by 8%. Um, four piece. At the beginning of the turn, the wearer's HP is equal or less than 50%. Restore e HP equal to 8% of their max HP and resonate uh, five energy. And then the other one is this one, the Longevous long, long Disciple. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Increase max HP by 12%. The other part doesn't really matter. So that's why it's looking at those. Now, it, the second set is 15%, close to 16. It also has a messenger uh, traversing hackerspace. Increased speed by 6% with the two-piece. 
And then Beware used their ultimate on the allies. Well, Pushuang's ultimate isn't completely being used on an ally, it's using it on the enemies, so that wouldn't be very good. So I can see why 15% of that would use that. Or like I said, use the four piece on this one, but I don't see the reason for the four piece of that. So if anything, we'll probably go for these ones here. Um, so we'll get the Longevous Disciple and the Guard of Wilder and Snow. However, there's another way you can check for uh, these particular things. If you're in case you want to know, like, you have Cavern of Corrosions unlocked, and you don't know which one of these is best for who. Say like this one, the Path of Drifting. I'm playing on PlayStation, so I have to put this as Triangle, and it shows all the characters I own that work for the two routes that are in that particular um, uh, suit for the relic. So this one right here, the Passerby Wandering Glove, I have a full set of this on Huahua. And then there's the Mus Musketeer Wild Wheat. We don't have that March 7th yet. She is recently new. She is story unlocked, so you don't need to worry about that. But the other one is Ting Young, and I believe she is fully equipped with that too. So yeah, if you ever see like the even the Ever Winter Hill here, Fushuang, Stella with the preservation, Pela, and then Queen Che and the character I can't really pronounce right now. Um, they use those. So yeah, it's very cool that they added this. Um, I found this out actually by my friend when he was um, sharing the screen with me and I noticed he was going through this. I was like, wait, he added that too? So yeah, um, if you ever want to know, like if you're looking at a specific thing, definitely look at that if you want. There are double rewards going on right now at the time of recording this, so I don't think it'll be up by by the time this video goes up. So I am recording on a Monday. This will most likely be uploaded the the following Sunday after. Anyway, to hook. What took you so long? Hook's been waiting here for ages. One second. I'm going to take a screenshot of this, as that is going to be our thumbnail. Uh, sorry, Jeff, kept you wait. He hello? Um. How did I fix this before? I know I fixed this before. Okay, there we go. Um, sorry, kept you wait. Yeah, that's the bad news. I told the rest of the moles about the plan, and Julian asked me to get some treasure for him. If we don't help him, he'll tell the old witch where we've gone. The good news is that he's willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. How dare he threaten the boss of the moles? So we gotta go down there. So I'll probably get into a few fights here while we're going about. Um, who do we have? I know I can. I know I saw it, but um, okay, you, 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 you. Um, I'm gonna switch out Herda for somebody else, considering like I said, everybody's more or less equipped. Um, I think here. We have fire, wind, and electric, or lightning, I guess is another way to call it. I don't believe I have everybody well equipped enough. You I can't equip with relics until the next area, so that's an issue. Using a different character this time. Uh, well, actually, no, actually, wait, oh, okay. There we go. Also, um, I don't know if I brought this up yet, but uh, give me a sec. Um, I'm sure everybody who's played Honkai knows what's about to happen. Listen carefully. 
or not. She didn't talk. You could have surrendered. There it goes. In case you didn't catch it, uh, Ho Ho's voice actually changed recently. Kind of heartbreaking about what happened, but... I really like the original. I'm sorry. But I will try to get used to the current one. Indestructible. Let's be friends, shall we? Keep all the speed on. Yeah, even uh, yeah, you know, I don't. We can't say because I don't think they told us who he is yet. But yeah, even his voice got changed too. It's over. Yeah, even like they don't sound like what they that they had, but I get it. It's a different voice actor or actors, but still. Let's be friends, shall we? You have. Oh, you'll be going. Possibly well, this while we still can't. Just keep using Ho Ho unless there's someone that doesn't have a weakness that she can use. Do that. Barrel over here we can destroy. Yep. Not this way. Uh, not this way. Which way? Oh, this way. Didn't see that. Okay, we got healed. Didn't need that, but whatever. Actually, let me double check this. Okay, yep, we did that. I can claim my subject for that. Um, oh, clear cavern of corrosion one time. You know what, we'll, we'll do that um, before I wrap up. We'll clear a cavern of corrosion one time. Julian took out his parents who started a business in this area. When they were all forced to leave the town, there were lots of things they didn't have time to take with them. So... It shouldn't be too hard to locate his treasure. Ah! Uh, that was a lucky guess. I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, what are these marbles used for? Crisis you're referring to.
Challenging the moles to a marvelous competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. With the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road. No match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge and triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. Oh, it was incredible. It's no wonder he values these marbles so much. Yep. So, now you know why he wanted us to find this treasure. Alright, enough chit chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Time to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. Okay. I feel like the river town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now, too? I would imagine so. Okay, I, oh, wait, don't know if we need to do that, but I don't know if I actually did, if this was here last time or not, but we're going to use it right now. All right, let's see here. Well, this needs to go here. Um, okay, there we go. outside of course um i know we need to take out the trotter hmm actually not no maybe we'll get lucky maybe not so much i'm on guard indestructible Yeah, I... I would to try. Two turns to take care of it. I think it'll be fine. Oh, Hall's got it. Trotter there. Oh, well, it's spotted anyway. No big deal. They just flee anyway. I'm not gonna worry about it. Who knows? 
used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of chino marrow and boxes. Hopefully it hasn't been taken. Good, I'll start looking. I'll look with you. We'll definitely find it if we work together. Let's see here. Somewhere in here. It's broken? Oh, just don't talk to me right now. I need to calm down. Brief silence. Nice silence, a bit longer. belong to Julian, you know. tell kids when they say they've gone away and they'll probably never be back. Also, I do apologize. I just realized the camera is a bit off uh, center. You know, a bit. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we should go back. This really be the last time? I promise this is the last time. Let's go. Alright. Okay. Switch to you. His friend saw me coming, but apparently he stood still. to take him out at least. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Probably the best. Uh, I just thinking. One enemy anywhere. Actually, I don't need to do that either. Just five us if I attacked them. See? Didn't need to use 
Stella's skill. Few more days to my week's band. Alright. Healing up. Good, good, good. Oh shoot. There's so many monsters here. We need to deal with them first. Seize the moment. I don't need to use the ultimate here because it's just it's just really weak enemies. That was easy. Yeah, I wonder why. Wait, let me take a look at my notes. Mark the location where I stashed the treasure. So what's your mysterious treasure? It's a reward for the old witch. You'll know what it is after I dig it up. Go down the stairs on the left, then walk ten paces forward. Turn right, walk another fifteen paces, spin around ten times, then keep uh, what? Find there's a help hook search. Oh boy, here we go. This thing. Beep, beep. Isn't it unsuitable for people to wear them? I guess you're right. We should wait 50 years before opening it. Let's take it back to Julian along with the glass marbles. Time capsule. This is your treasure? Yes, he's called Jun Jun. Whoa, Jun Jun. How did you get covered in dirt? And why do you have so many loose threads? If you don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. How much can you get for him? Your witch said that Jun Jun isn't just any old teddy bear. He'll be worth a lot of money once he's cleaned up.
Don't drag me into this when Natasha gets furious. Town and we'll go to see Natasha. See what happens after that. That was Wow Wow and um, the tail talking to her. In case you're wondering what was spoken there for a second. seem really fond of this bear. I've lost count of all the tolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you imagine what an orphanage is like with so many difficult children? I had to come up with a solution to get them to behave. Hook pretended to be well behaved for a month in order to get June June. She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. Has there been some difficult pretending? Of course, as soon as she got her award, she went straight back to her old self. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right. And forcing her to be well-behaved puts a little... Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help her prepare June June. I'll need to find some stuffing. Wait, look at the eyes. Look like gemstones. They must be Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. Are they worth a lot? I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quality. Well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, oh was that an, that was an achievement? Uh, oh, obtained 10 million credits in total. Okay. Thank you so much. Alright, uh, let me double check. I don't remember how much more of this is left. Um, and I'm kind of coming up to like 40 minutes right now, so. Oh, hang on a second. Random friend request. No, I'm sorry. <clears throat> That is cute. Ha ha, you came home. <laughs> that is cute. And yeah, there's there's mine. As you can see, I have Firefly, Fushuang, and Robin uh, on my... Uh... Yo, actually, I did say we were going to do a uh, Cavern of Corrosion before we left, before we uh, wrapped up. 
Uh, let me double check to see which ones I would like to do, just for ha-has. Let's see, this one, and uh, nope, this one, um, I, I don't even know what all characters I'm using. Actually, uh, let me look at Link's, uh, just to double check, see if she has her relics or not. She has three of them. Apparently, um, that one, that one, I don't care about. This one, I'm going healing. Yes, it's good. Oop. And if we look at feet, um, HP percentage, if I can get it. Oh. Um, oh no, that's probably what I want to put. That's the wrong thing. I wait. Is it? Is it? Hang on. Oh, I have th I have three of them. Okay, so yeah, I if I click this, no. Why is it not? That's why I want in cloud three. Why? Why does this seem so weird? Wait a minute. I don't have. Oh, I should. Oh, shoot, I just... Oh, okay, yeah, this was... Okay, this is... Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I... Yeah, um, Hao Hao has the one, and she's good at that. All right, so let's see if we can't quick try to get one for... Um, one for uh, links here quickly. We'll we'll do maybe one or two. We'll see what happens. So we get double rewards, four out of four. If we can get a four star, that'd be great. Three star, all right. Two star, I would not be too happy with. So let's try this. All right, and we're gonna use this team. And I'm just gonna let it auto itself.
All right, what do we get? Oh, we got two star. Oh wait, no, we get with the. Oh, there's a three. St wait, is it? Yeah, it, it is the uh, the the body one. Okay, but that doesn't mean we got the one we want. So let's quick take a look and then we'll wrap up. Relics, body. It was outgoing healing, right? Yeah. Oh, right. So three star. Um, there it is, the new one. Crit rate. Okay. Oh wait, this one's an outgoing. Okay. I, I, you know, I gave it to her. <laughs> give, give it to Lynx. We might as well. Uh, it that is recommended for Lynx, right? Um, yeah, it's recommended because it's the uh, outgoing healing stuff. And you know what? Just because um, it's me and I could use the uh, boosts on the healing. I'm gonna go ahead and max it out. So we've also up the attack, defense, and effect, uh, I don't know what res is, but you, if you know, you know, anyway. And yeah, break effect didn't even get anything. <laughs> uh, let's also, not that, now I'll enhance this too. Give it the 12 that I have here and the 10. I'll save. Actually, you know what? Hang on a sec. Let's use some of these twos up here as well. Or you get it up to seven. Attack and crit went up. That's good. Do one more round of that. Get it up to level eight. Attack went up. Okay, hang on. I want to get it to nine. Okay, there's the nine. And there we go. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up right here with Quaha looking. That, there we go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Actually, wait a minute. Do I have enough? Shoot, we got enough. Okay, one warp, and then we'll wrap up. Man, they need to fix that audio stuff. I can never tell if I'm getting a five star or not. I was starting to anticipate it. <sighs> Sometimes they need, I just feel like they need to fix that. Also, yes, I would love to have her on the team. But as you can see, I have less than two days. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. So anyway, that now, thanks so much for watching this episode of Honka Star Royal Series. I'm Big LT. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.